Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Reed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Reed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A sober life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Free Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share this about substance abuse, and I want to be crystal clear with you to leave an everlasting impact. Imagine, just try to imagine being buried alive, but you realize that you're not dead. You don't know how to open the coffin and push the enormous weight of the dirt upon the lid. But you also think about banging on the coffin so that maybe you will unsettle the dirt that's sitting on top of the lid, and maybe, just maybe somebody on top by your grave, somebody mourning your death, might notice and start digging their way down to help you. That is what it's like to be at the lowest point of alcohol and drug uh, addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know how to get that help. In reality, there are people probably standing at your grave right now, but you don't know that. You just know today is the day for death to arrive for you. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be good at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind that when you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose? You'll take what's so important away from your family, and that is you. You'll take what's so important away from you, and that's your life. With this... I want to leave one last thought. Don't be that person that I just read about, laying in a coffin, alive, banging on a lid, hoping that someone might hear them so they can get the help that they want now, because it's too late then. Be the person, instead, to make that phone call to people like me at 844-405-HELP, people like friends of mine that we'll talk about in a minute, that are addiction recovery coaches. I want to help you, but you need to scream out loud. You need to get my attention. You need to tap me on my shoulder. You need to call me. You need to text me. You need to do something. Because that person laying in that coffin is reaching out now, but it's too late. Don't wait for it to be too late. Call me at 844-405-HELP and let me help you take your life back. You can also call a friend of mine who's an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, someone with over 30 years experience. His name is Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. You can call me at 516-458-2741. You can Google him at odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis and I always tell people like you watching that might have these issues that it doesn't matter. It really does not matter where you came from. What does matter is that you're here now and you're looking for a brighter tomorrow. Call Larry at 516-458-2741. Let him help you with your drug addiction, your alcohol addiction, your low self-esteem issues, your depression issues, and any other issues you might have. Put Larry's 30 years of service to people like you to test. Give him a call at 516-458-2741 and let Larry Geis help you take back your life. GlobalEyeglasses.com. Folks, if you're watching me and your screen seems a little fuzzy, it's not my video. No, it's not. I make sure it's crystal clear each and every time I do it. What it is is your glasses. Isn't it time for you to get a new pair of glasses? And where else should you go but www.globaleyeglasses.com. At Global Eyeglasses, you can find over 1,200 frames. You can find 
progressives, transitions, photochromatics, polarization, line bifocals, scratch resistant, UV coated, anti reflecting coating, metal, plastic, half full, no frames. All available. Global Eyeglasses is on my videos because I believe in their product. That's why I run their commercials on my video. And I have 30 years experience in the optometry business and I will be more than happy to help you when you go on their website to help you pick the frame that you like and get the lenses you desperately need. And here's the kicker. They're at about 70% less than your brick and mortar freestanding stores that are in your hometown. And you don't even have to leave your house. All you have to do is go outside, go to the mailbox, get your glasses out of the mailbox, put them on and watch my next video. GlobalEyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money. Folks, today's topic is uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year. And of course, anytime we get to the end of the new year, a new year starts. And what better way for me to talk about 18 tips for starting the new year sober. New Year's Eve is known as a time of the year when most alcohol is consumed. It also has the ha highest annual rate of drunk driving accidents. Although some people may survive an automobile crash on New Year's Eve, many are arrested for DUI. Drug use is also pre uh, prevalent on New Year's Eve, and many people take drugs and alcohol together, mixed. It is a night of overindulgence, and yet very next day is reserved for New Year's resolutions, which, in fact, will be my next show. People make resolutions to improve their thinking, behavior, and life. For people who are trying to recover from drug addiction and alcohol addiction, New Year's Eve can be a difficult time. The holidays are a time to set goals for the remain, for remaining alcohol and drug-free in the year coming. Here are some tips for you to follow during the holidays to help you prevent, uh, to help you stay, not prevent, but stay sober and continue the path of your recovery. Tip number one, New Year's Eve, uh, these are 10 tips first, and then we'll discuss the last eight. New Year's Eve may have been one big intoxicating party in the past, but that is no longer the case. As a recovering addict, you should realize that you can still have as much fun as you did before and remain sober. The goal used to be about getting drunk and high, but now the holiday is about enjoying friends, family. The goal is about discussing new plans and ideas in the future that will enhance your life. Once you have sat, set down uh, your goals for the future, you have a new plan of action to follow. It is important to always stay focused on the goal and never, never, ever deviate from it. Number two, if you have a party or, or event to attend on New Year's Eve, you should bring along a trusted friend who will hold you accountable for any misgivings. This friend should be aware of your goal to remain sober and he or she should be supportive of that. This, this friend uh, should also be able to help you make the right decisions during the evening that would help prevent you from tempting any sort of alcohol or relapse. Number three, it's important to be prepared ahead of time and in case there is pressure to drink or do drugs. You should have a devised plan of action and ready to enforce it confronting with troubling situations. If you are offered a drink or drugs, it is okay for you to say no, even if you feel awkward. You should also be ready to excuse yourself and leave if you feel ready to leave, if you feel uncomfortable. Number four, try to avoid places and people who are drinking alcohol and doing drugs in the first place. It may be hard to avoid on New Year's Eve, but if you plan ahead of time, you should be able to accomplish this. Do a little research. Number five, another option is to host your own party or join friends who are not using drugs and alcohol, maybe other recovering addicts, maybe from your meetings. Number six, remember to set limits and boundaries for yourself. Do not allow yourself to get stressed out by other people's expectations or demands or pressures put upon you. Stand up for yourself if someone tries to manipulate or control your decisions to stay sober. Number seven, make sure that you have enough rest and nutritious food before going out. This way you'll be able to remain strong physically and mentally and not fall into temptation. Number eight, make plans to do something after the new year that will be, bring joy and pleasure to you. Do things that will make you happy 
and at peace. Number nine, practice your faith and spend time in prayer or meditation. Gain strength and peace for the journey. Join with other believers for fellowship to edify each other. And last but not least, before we hit the other number eight one, uh, the other eight ones is number ten. Don't wait for New Year's Day to begin sobriety. Start right now, today. Make a phone call to me at eight four 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 zero five help. I'll give you a kickstart. These last eight are eight spiritual ways to get through the New Year's clean and sober. Number one would be pray and meditate. Use Step 11 in your 12-step program. We saw it through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for His will for us and the power to carry that out. Number two is bottled water or soda. I take my own bottle of soda to, to any party that I go, even fam family gatherings, thereby assuring that what I drink is available and unaltered. I never drink from a glass that I have left unattended, thus I can be assured that no one put anything in my soda. This also alleviates my picking up someone else's drink by mistake. Number three, non-alcoholic beer. Folks, just because it says non-alcoholic, it's a no-no because it's a teaser, a craving that you might have from the taste. I don't set myself up with non-alcoholic beer, ever. I know me and the taste would tickle my fancy and before I know it, I'd, it'd be, uh, I'd probably want the real thing, an alcoholic beer. Eventually the beer would not be enough for me to get back into the vicious cycle of addiction, thereby going back to vodka. Number four, rely on God to allow you to lean on others. To do supernatural things, I need supernatural help from my God and the people God uses to help me one day at a time. Doing the opposite of what comes natural for me to do. For an example, I naturally do not want to call somebody, but with supernatural help, I can reach out to a trusted friend for guidance nine times out of ten times. When you talk about your urges to use, you won't act on them. Number five is gratitude. I try to remember what this re season means to me. A new beginning that God so graciously gave me. The thoughts usher in an attitude of gratitude because I am free of bondage of active addiction. Number six, do not hang out with people that are still consuming drugs and alcohol abusively. Drugs at all you should be hanging out, but uh, drinking, I always say there is no shame in drinking responsibly. I mean, everyone that can handle one drink or two a day, that is great. I can't. There's a saying, if you hang around a hot dog stand long enough, you're going to eventually buy a hot dog. Instead, I surround myself with those who are serious about recovery and that are sensitive to mine. Number seven, understand you have an allergy. During the holidays, drinks and drugs abound. People are offering, trying to persuade you that you've been clean a while and you can handle it now. When offered anything that might compromise my recovery, I say I'm allergic, I'll break out from any alcohol substance. Last but not least is number 10, don't take yourself too seriously. Be easy on yourself, laugh and develop a sense of humor. Happy New Year, everyone. Keep your primary focus, staying clean and sober, no matter what the costs are. That should be your number one priority. Folks, this was 18 tips for starting a new year. The first one uh, uh, the, the first tip was about setting up a, a, a goal for yourself at each and every function. Uh, the second one was to bring a trusted friend. The third one is uh, prepare yourself ahead of time with an action plan. Uh, the fourth one was to try to avoid places that abusively serve alcohol and drugs. Um, and, uh, the fifth one was to maybe host your own party, that way you know uh, what's going on for sure. The sixth one was remember to set your limits and your boundaries. The seventh one was uh, make sure that you get plenty of rest before you go out and have nutritious food. The number eight was um, make try to make some kind of plans after New Year's to reward yourself for another completed previous year if you were sober and also to uh, welcome the new year in. 
Number nine was uh, practice your faith and spend time in prayer and meditation. Number ten was uh, don't wait. If you're not sober right now, don't wait until New Year's, even though we still have about ten days. Don't wait for it. Do something today. Make a phone call to 844-405-HELP. I will help take your life back. And then the eight spiritual ways to get through New Year's clean and sober is to pray and meditate. Uh, when you go to parties and you want to stay sober, bring your own water, your own soda. I bring my own soda because uh, I know that I have access to what I like and there is no contemplation, no thinking of, gee, I went to this party and all they offer is alcohol. Guess what, folks? I'm prepared. Number three is alcohol, beer, alcohol, uh, I mean, non-alcoholic beer and non-alcoholic wine is a no-no in my book because the taste itself might tempt me to want to go to the real McCoy. Number four is rely on God to allow you to lean on others. Remember, God created you. God guides you each and every day. Rely on God to make the right decisions for you. Number five is gratitude. We have all something to be grateful for. I always tell people to write a gratitude list per week and uh, check off all the good things. I guarantee you, you have more good things to be grateful for than bad things. And uh, we all do have little uh, uh, pebbles in the path of life. What we need to do is kick those pebbles to the side so the path is nice and clean. Number six is do not hang out with people that are still using. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Jesus Christ, you don't want to hang around with people that are abusing drugs. You don't want to hang around with people that are going to disrespect you by over-drinking or asking you constantly, do you want something? Number seven is understand that you have an allergy. I always tell people when they consistently try to convince me, although I've been sober, one or two won't hurt me. I have an allergy. I am allergic to alcohol. And number eight is don't take yourself too seriously. Be easy on yourself. Laugh and develop a sense of humor. Happy New Year to everyone watching. Remember the next show, our tips, uh, New, uh, New Year's resolution. Actually, the title will be uh, Top 10 New Year's Resolutions for 2000. And 16, which is right around the corner, keep your primary focus, folks, on staying clean and sober. Don't be that person laying in a coffin, alive, banging, hoping that someone on top will hear them. Be the person that takes control of your life. Be the person that wants to take your life back today. You can do it. I guarantee you. If I was able to do it with drinking 15 shots of vodka a day, relying each and every morning, First thing I would think about is vodka. Each and every night before going to bed, I would think about vodka. I lived on vodka. But one day, it came here, but more importantly, right here, and said, it's enough. I will not lose my life to the disease of alcoholism. I deserve better. My wife and children and grandchildren deserve better than to have me drown my sorrows in a bottle of booze. At that point, I took my life back, folks. 10 to 15 shots of vodka a day for years. If I can do it, you can do it. It's a matter of wanting to do it. There is no cure other than you saying, I've had it. And if you haven't hit rock bottom, you don't have to wait for it. You can make that decision today. And with the guidance of myself and people like Larry Geis, we are here to help you. And for the people that are out there that are saying, gee, I can't afford a person like you. Me, myself, I help people each and every day pro bono out of the kindness of my heart, out of believing if you do good, you get good back. I am still in the learning phases of being an addiction recovery coach. I am not advanced like Larry Geis or thousands of others that have been doing this for years. I do it pro bono. I utilize my skills that I learned from Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point Academy. I use my skills that I learn each and every day from my shows and from my studies. And 
and I use my personal skills of addiction from my past and I use my skills of sobriety for my present and my future. That I give to you free of charge. So there is no way you can tell me, well, I didn't want to call. I didn't want to text you because I couldn't afford it because I do not charge. My show is my charity to society. It's my giving back to society. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Text me at 631-599-0218. Remember, a sober today promise you a better tomorrow. Folks, I hope to God, no matter where you're watching me, that you all have a great day. But I hope and I pray that no matter who is watching me, that you have a sober rest of your life. And please, may God bless you. Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today, so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today
The show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich Yeah